Hi, I'm Katie Palmer, Curator of Education at the Musical Instrument Museum, and today we're going to make an instrument out of materials that you probably have at home. We're going to make a drum, and so in order to do that, you need a couple things. You need a Tupperware container, this one I have repurposed for my Tupperware drawer, a pair of scissors, and then some tape. Uh, this is packing tape, it's uh, U-line, um, and I like it because we've got sort of a clear tape and then we've also got a colored tape. Uh, you can use any variety, a duct tape would also work as well. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take tape, I'm gonna take my clear tape, and I'm gonna go around the outside of my Tupperware container. I'm doing this because tape does a really nice job, and many of you probably already know this, sticking to itself. <laughs> and so by lining the outside, we're gonna make it a little bit easier to get that tape on. And since it's clear tape, and I'm gonna cover it up, it doesn't really matter what it looks like. So once we have that, we're just gonna take it around the edges and secure it. The next step is to build my drum head. So I'm gonna take my clear tape and I'm gonna go all one direction, like this. And we're gonna do this and you're gonna say, but Katie, this is a little loose. And I know that in order to produce the sound, I need a tighter drum head. And you're absolutely right, but I don't want you to worry about the tension on this part of the, the uh, drum head, because really what we're doing is we're just putting a bass layer down and that we're gonna add tension by adding tape. Easy peasy. As you do this, you wanna make sure that you have no holes in the top of your drum head depending how old your children are. This is a really good exercise for fine motor development. Tape is not easy to work with. Making sure you don't lose the end is not easy to work with. Right. So here's our first layer. We've got it going all one direction, as you can see. And so the next thing we need to do in order to add that tension is to go the opposite way. So I'm gonna take my tape, if it goes this way, now I'm gonna go this way as we add it together, you'll start to notice that your drum head is gonna get tighter. So the tighter your drum head, the higher the pitch. And you can control, to some extent, the, the pitch level that you get with these drums. You need the looser the drum head, the lower the pitch, the tighter the drum head, the tighter the pitch. So great, so now I have a pretty tight drum head uh, going sort of all one way and then all the other way. Let's hear how it sounds. It's not bad. I want to add one more layer of tape. This one I'm going to do sort of a, a colored piece of tape just to add some flair. Why not? With white on this wild side. And this one I'm going to take sort of across. And so since we're getting it across, Here's the question, are we adding tension or taking it away? We're adding tension because we're adding tape. I'm creating in the middle of my drum head here a place with higher tape. There we go. Perfect. Look at that beautiful drum. So this is my drum. Let's hear what it sounds like in the middle. So if you're listening, you can hear it's just a little bit higher on this side than it is on the outside. Got a couple different playing techniques. You could throw this right underneath your arm. Or why not build two and make a drum set and go to town with some pencils or some wooden spoons. So enjoy your drums. Thanks for joining us.